In fact, it is an African question. Uh, as LPM, we do not participate in these issues of genocide from the position of any ethnocentric perspective. For us, it is a decolonial program of action that should have been engaged in right from independence by the new Swapo Party government. It is a program and a project that if you look at both Namibia, you look at Rwanda, and you look at Tanzania and what the Germans had done during the colonial period, that there was need for these governments to look at the question of genocide and the atrocities subsequently committed in other countries by the Germans and say, let's form a united front and mobilize our entire communities and nation states to fight for this issue. We have, as a result of the work of the late chief, today been able to speak about a genocide in the perspective of the communities that were given an extermination order, which is the Ovaherero, the Nama, and the uh, Ovabanderu, and then those that were directly affected, such as the Damara and the San community, out of this work through a motion that was, thank God, unanimously accepted by this parliament. This should have been a program already as part of the decolonization process that should have been engaged upon. Because the question of genocide is not just the killing of people. It is the question of killing of people, the brutality there is, the question of loss of life, uh, of young children, the question of loss of land, the loss of economic space and economic opportunities, and subsequent displacement and fundamental dispossession of livestock and all the livelihood means that people had to live and live a meaningful life. So it was a fundamental human rights question that had to be put at the high priority list of the new government. It did not happen. Today, unfortunately, we are seeing that people use this issue and look at this issue as a means to divide communities and divide the country and try to look at this issue from the point of view of a few ethnic communities. It is not. It is a project of justice. It is a project of internal human peace. It is a program that requires all of us to demonstrate human solidarity. And it should be a pan-African program of action that should be supported by the EU and other in institutions that we have on the continent. When you look at the Germans, they have given the Greek and the, and, and the Armenian genocide a better recognition. And one of the things that we are speaking about, apart from the national question that I have articulated about, is the legal part of this genocide. If you compare it to the Jewish question, compared to the Greek and other genocides that have taken place, there's agreement that the people will be given today in parliament, negotiated by Gaviria and others, is one that does not give any legal binding commitment from the Germans to the people of Namibia. It doesn't. It is apparently a moral and political obligation only. The challenge is, once you do not have a legally binding agreement that compels the victim party as well as the villain to agree on legal sets of principles, any person can go and change their mind anytime as their morality shifts, as their political orientation shifts. What is the issue? Why are we highlighting this question where a moral and political agreement is a loose agreement? Because listen, just 115 years ago, it was politically and morally acceptable for Germany to commit a genocide. Morality changes. Politics change. Therefore, if the German morality and its politics change, you do not have a recourse if you enter into this agreement on the basis of a legal arrangement that you have made. You do not have it. The moral and political basis that we are asked to enter this agreement depends on the Germans entirely. Besides, over and above that, what they are saying is that they merely hold the prospect to pay. They are not even giving a, a thorough, clear, 
and a legally binding commitment to actually pay the reparations money, which is called the Reconciliation Agreement. And therefore, from the legal point of view, it is a flawed and non-binding arrangement. From the financial point of view, not only is the quantum a laughable quantum, but the promise to pay is not a firm promise. The promise to pay was given firmly to the Jews. The promise to pay was given to other communities where Germany has been doing similar activities. But in respect of the genocide here, there is no firm commitment to pay. There is no firm binding legal commitment that keeps the Germans on the table to continue paying. There is no firm arrangement in terms of which disputes will be settled as they are going for in implementing this arrangement. So it's a laughable arrangement. It is an arrangement that demonstrates the incapacity that the Namibian diplomatic uh, corps uh, has sent out to, to deal with this matter, has shown that we are just a weak, incapacitated, poorly organized uh, government you know, that, you know, that was negotiating with a government that has over, or with a state that has over 4,000 years of diplomatic experience. We have only 31 years of experience but we were completely unable to even tap the best of the people that we have from the legal and economic and all other fields. And we were outmaneuvered, outmastered, belittled, and completely outmaneuvered by the Germans. It's a laughable thing. We can't accept it. Also because the Namibian government is not clear as to what was its quantum that it submitted to the Germans. What was it that it was negotiating for? Where is that document that they were using as an instrument to, 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 to engage in the negotiations? It's not clear. This agreement only tells us that the Germans have agreed to this arrangement, and therefore we must also agree. This we cannot do, and the struggle therefore must continue. Every loving, peace-loving Namibian, every Namibian, regardless of ethnicity, every Namibian, regardless of race or political party, must stand with the communities today who are gathered here to reject this bad deal that was made, which is not in the interest of this country or of the communities that we, that we stand for uh, as a country. So it's about unification of the country. It is not a question of this ethnic group against the other ethnic group or this group of ethnic groups against that group of other ethnic groups. That is not the issue. People try to make it about that. It is not about that. It can never be about that. It's an African issue where Africans need to stand together for the betterment of our lives and for restorative justice to become a reality in our lifetime.